The Las Vegas Raiders are set to take on the Denver Broncos in their first game of NFL regular season action, and there's a lot of things that we're looking at because this is should be a pretty promising draft class from the Raiders. You brought in Jimmy G. There's, a, there's basically a, kind of a different team. It really is. Uh, even though, hey, you're happy to have Josh Jacobs back uh, in the building. You still got Devontae Adams. You got weapons. But speaking of weapons, we got to ask ourselves, what can we expect from the Raiders offense as they play the Broncos uh, in week one? And we've got a list of expectations here, or at least what we think what we think we're going to see-ish, kind of. Uh, and to me, yeah, uh, I think it's going to start with uh, run and play action heavy. I think the fact that the history of Jimmy G being in the 49ers offense and playing with the Patriots and the different things that they do like to run with 12 personnel and all that. I think it makes a lot of sense to what they're going to do here. Um, you know, guys like Michael Mayer and, uh, you know, uh, Hooper, Austin Hooper, all these guys are going to be used in the passing game. That's fantastic and all that. But I think Josh Jacobs is going to get a healthy workload, despite the fact that the Denver Broncos had a top 10 rushing defense last year. Um, I think that they are going to really salivate on using Josh Jacobs and the bluffs to be able Able to get tight ends out in the flat and really sustain drives uh, I think that is going to be something you're really going to expect is uh, you know something that they're going to get the run game started but they're also going to run a lot of play action they're going to run some boot some different things and I think it's going to work out to their favor a uh, ball distribution so if you watch any amount of the 49ers with Jimmy G, they get the ball out. Like they get it to Debo Samuel, they get it to uh, Brendan Ayuk and all those guys, but they also run the ball very well. But uh, in George Kittle, of course, you can't forget one of the best tight ends in football. But Overall, the constant is the same. You see their playmakers getting the football. That is exactly what you want to see from an offensive coordinator, just finding a way to get the ball into the playmakers' hands. That's really what it all comes down to. And I think we're going to see that in a lot of different ways, um, and, and we'll get into uh, how they'll do that in gadgety playmakers. Uh, so uh, time of possession. Also, when you run the ball and you play pretty good defense, you know obviously you tend to have the ball for most of the game. So I think that we can look for the Raiders to run the ball a lot and play better defense defense and uh, really hone in on that time of possession uh, but then in gadgety playmakers I'm expecting the Raiders to do some different things uh, and I'm probably that I don't think that's how you spell gadgety but anyway uh, I think that the Raiders offense is going to really incorporate a lot of different guys like Trey Tucker I think that we're going to see you know Josh Jacobs obviously run the football but Devonte Adams Jacoby Myers Hunter Renfro uh, you're going to see a lot of different guys getting the football and I think there's going to be some different ways that they do it whether it's the end around whether it's the you know the read option whatever it is I fully expect the Raiders to use all of their playmakers at their disposal uh, and then finally a balanced offensive line I felt like the Raiders offensive line did a good job of not only creating running lanes for the running backs, but also giving guys like Aiden O'Connell and, uh, you know, everybody else time to be able to throw the football. So honestly, I am optimistic from what we're going to see for this offense. I don't think it's going to be overly explosive, but I do think that with what the weapons that the Raiders have, I think it's going to be fun to watch. They're going to run the ball. They're going to distribute it well. They're going to block well. I think it's going to be a good overall showing for the Raiders. But let us know what you guys think. What are we going to see from the Las Vegas Raiders offense? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, leave a comment. Hey, that's what helps people find the show and a like. But at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think about what we can expect from the Las Vegas Raiders offense against the Denver Broncos.